know about you guys, but we've really been wanting to travel. 2020 just hasn't been a good year. But then, when we can actually travel, we can't afford it. So we're trying a little something different for this trip. We're gonna do car camping all the way out to Zion. Some of you may know I tried to go to Zion in the spring, but it didn't happen. So finally getting to go. We don't have any money. So now we're just gonna stay in the car. We got all our stuff back here and we'll go over everything as we go along the trip and get to our first stop. Also, this is Kayan. She's She's been here the whole time. Okay, we drove about 930 miles today. We he finally, did. yeah, I did. She slept on and off. We made it to Amarillo. That is where we're staying the night, and we'll get into a little bit more details. But first, we got Whataburger. Whataburger. So we're gonna eat this, and then we'll go into a little bit more detail about where we're staying, what kind of gear we have to stay in the car, all that stuff. So, see you in a minute. We are at our final destination where where we're gonna stay the night. It's a pilot. We we actually were gonna stay at a Walmart, but um, the app that we're using, somebody left a review and said that they aren't allowing people to stay overnight in the parking lot because of COVID. We're staying at this pilot. There's actually people right next to us doing the exact same thing as us. This is just for the first night. The app that I've been using that uh, has been working pretty well, it's called Campendium. It works out great. It actually gives you people's reviews about different places that they stay. So tomorrow night, we're actually staying at a dispersed camping spot around Flagstaff. So we'll include that in this as well, just so you can see like both variations. You know, there's Walmarts and Cracker Barrels, truck stops, stuff like that. We're doing the truck stop because this is also where we're gonna shower. So we will show you that in the morning. But all of the stuff that we brought, so the big thing is the air mattress, which came with a pump that you plug directly into your cigarette lighter, car charger, whatever, uh, and it inflates it really fast. We've done it once, but we're about to have to do it again. It's a little crowded back there, but uh, we're trying to make it work. KN has made little covers for the windows. You see that? Mm -hmm. That is out of cardboard. We also got like bug screen tinted covers for the back windows so you could have them cracked. Although we are not gonna need them because it's 39 degrees outside. <laughs> She's not too excited about that one, but that's the main thing for the car. Other than that, we brought a whole bunch of blankets. She made cardboard cutouts, just traced each window. We got one for the back, the two back windows. Nothing for the front, but then we have a, a windshield cover as well. And that's really it. We also have the whole cookware kitchen setup and all that stuff, but we're gonna get into that tomorrow because I think tomorrow we're actually gonna cook our dinner at least and we'll kind of show you more of what we have for now i guess i'm gonna hop in the back and i'll show you the setup back there i forgot to mention we also got this little light see look at that it lights everything this is a solar powered lamp it's like 20 bucks at rei it's got plenty and also we're doing this inside because there's there's a car right there. We can tell that they're like sleeping, but it would be a lot easier just to open the doors and get everything done that way. We're just trying to be considerate, you know? <laughs> so we have an air mattress down here. Um, cover on it. Um, I have three, four total blankets, two of them down here. Um, we put the 
shade up at the front of the bolt to light. And we also have this blanket here for extra coverage for protection. It is a little crowded in there, but uh, we'll go over this again when we get to the next camping spot so we can actually move around the car and all that stuff. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so shower. We're in the shower now. There were no issues with us sharing a shower. They got us extra towels as well. So this is how it works. Okay, so this was $12 for both of us. On your receipt, you get your customer number with a pin. So as soon as your shower's ready, there's a voice that says, your shower's ready, and then they have a monitor that says, customer number, blah, 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 what shower number you're in. So ours was number three. So you just plug your pin in the door, and then it unlocks, and then you come in. So it's got an electronic lock on there, and then once you're inside, it's got a deadbolt. Good to go. So this is what we're choosing to do. I know a lot of people do uh, showers at their gym or whatever, but we don't have a gym membership, so this is what we're doing. 12 bucks, we get a shower, it's not bad. Still cheaper than a hotel. All right, Ken, what do you think about your first shower experience? It wasn't bad. At a truck stop. It's actually, I compared it to being in the Philippines. All our bath, their toilet, the sink, and but the we showers are But we had hot there. water. We had hot water. Yeah. <laughs> and pressure. And I gotta say, overall, last night, it wasn't that bad. We had a ton of blankets. It was 39 degrees overnight, but didn't feel it. So, yeah, there's our first night. Now we are gonna get some stuff and then we're on to the Cadillac Ranch. See, here's a fire pit. Yeah. Okay. I think this is us. We'll turn off our lights. All right, guys. So 
we made it to Flagstaff. We are in our dispersed camping spot. Um, it's off of the road to the lava cave, I believe. It's pretty cool. We had a little bit of GoPro footage on the way in. When we got up in here, there's like RVs all over the place and it's, it's so spread out. There's people, there's nobody near us at all. It's pretty crazy. So we really have this place to ourselves other than some cows. That was one right there. <laughs> yeah, so we're actually, uh, we're gonna attempt to make tacos tonight. And here, let me grab my light here. See that they have a fire pit. We actually did not plan on making fire on this trip at all. So we don't have anything to make fire with. So that kind of sucks, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna start working on food and Can is gonna get the car worked out. And then uh, I'll show you guys our sleeping setup again in a better way because I know that first time it was not the best, but now we can actually get out. Be with you guys in a minute. All right, so this is hard to see, but I got the uh, peak power. Oh no, snow peak. Snow peak is basically the pocket rocket equivalent, but it's snow peak. And this is some off-brand gas because there was apparently a gas shortage. And yeah, so that's what I'm working on. Apparently I had it going full blast. Okay. I don't know how high to have it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna start uh, making tacos with uh, canned chicken. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so no refrigerator. We're gonna try canned chicken with taco mix. We got tortillas and we got a salad. It's gonna be our dinner. Got my chicken cooking. The taco seasoning kit, it just says use uh, do a three quarter cup of water, but I just used the water that was in the can. Seems like enough, so this is how we're doing it. All right, here you go. We got our finished chicken tacos. We use some of the salad mix as lettuce, and then we use the cheese from the salad mix as cheese. Yep, and here's our salad. Can's eating hers. I know this is gonna be impossible for you guys to see. The Milky Way is up there. It's fantastic. Okay, so I realized that I didn't really go over all of the gear that we brought and everything. You saw the air mattress or the struggles of blowing that up. By the way, we left it blown up for the entire day of driving, so we didn't have to deal with that again. As far as the dishes, uh, the cookware and everything that I have, this whole set, I've had this thing for years and I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> okay, well, I don't remember the, the name of it, but it, uh, it came with a pot, like, four bowls. GSI Outdoors? GSI Outdoors, that's what it is, okay. I'm gonna try to link everything down in the description too, but I've had a lot of this stuff for a long time, like that, uh, the Peak Power Cooker, which by the way, worked out great. But since we have done dishes, we had to figure out a way to clean the dishes. So I got this thing in here is a little tub. It just expands and you can fill it up with water, scrub your dishes, and then dispose of it where you can. With us, it shouldn't matter as much. We are not near any water source or anything like that, and we're using we're using this natural, like eco-friendly soap. It's made with a lot of organic oils and stuff instead of chemicals. So it it actually says you can use it as shampoo, body wash, dish detergent, and that's what we're using it as. So I'm about to clean all the dishes with this soap and then dispose of the water somewhere. Another thing that I have had for a while is this uh, anti-gravity batteries. This is a jump starter, but it'll also charge your phone, laptop, whatever. But we brought it because we're living in the car. In case we have a dead battery, uh, this will take care of that. Another thing I've had for a while, this little doodad here. This is just a shovel. Nights like tonight, if we gotta go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, about to be digging a hole. As I say that, Kian says she has to pee. Oh, Candy, you want to talk about your bring along? Where did I use this Bonnaroo? Not this one specifically. I got a new one because I didn't clean it like I should have. So I didn't know what they were called uh, when I went to when we went to Bonnaroo and I got this. I went to REI and I was like, uh, of course, there's a guy I had to talk to. I was like, I'm trying to find a lady penis, <laughs> something I, I can pee out of by standing up, not sitting on a dirty toilet or anything. He goes, You mean a urinating funnel? I was like proper term yes so I got another one so it literally you pee <laughs> like you're supposed to so I'm gonna go tinkle don't film me Josh what show the thing you didn't really oh show here it. so it's literally like you stick your little hoopah there and you just pee like a dude 
So yeah, that'll help out any ladies uh, trying to use porta potties or whatever. There you go. So last thing, I'll show you the the bed setup and everything. We have the air mattress. We have like six blankets. We were perfectly fine last night. It was 39 degrees. It is fantastic. The length of this is actually perfect for me if we move both the seats up. I'm six feet tall and my head is perfectly on my pillow. And <laughs> I'm six feet tall and my head is perfectly on the pillow and my feet can stretch out and I, I don't have to bend them at all. They just come right to the door. So it's actually perfect. We're trying to show that you don't really need all this luxury stuff in order to do a trip like this. Like we actually decided that we're going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. So that's what we're doing. And then we're continuing on to Zion. That's the whole point of this trip for me anyway. Just get out there and do it. Just do it. That was the other thing. We had these uh, bug screen things for the windows and we are not cracking the windows because it's freezing. So that's kind of a wasted thing. Other than that, I already showed you guys the uh, cardboard. It's really easy. Just get out and do it. Have an adventure. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up because I think it'll help out a lot, of, a lot of people trying to travel this year, you know? And if you have not subscribed, make sure you do because we are going to the Grand Canyon, Zion, Arches National Park, and Moab. It's gonna be a great trip. Oh my God. Can just let her pee at me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it was water. She's rinsing her funnel. Can you see how it works though? Oh yeah. Water. Here's a demonstration. Go into the light. Can you see me? Yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was, so yeah, that's the other thing. I brought my laptop so I can dump all the footage. Our car actually has an outlet in it, so we can charge everything like that. I need to charge all the batteries and uh, dump all the footage. But after that, going to bed. And I'm also gonna try to, I have the camera over there on the tripod. I'm gonna attempt some long exposure photography because the stars are just insane tonight. We can see the Milky Way like clear. There's not a cloud in the sky. It is insane. So I'm gonna attempt that but I think I need a better camera. So yeah. What Do is you that? wanna sleep with the window open? Like the sunroom? Yeah, that's it. We'll see you on our adventure tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's adventure for us. Probably next week for you guys. Okay, bye, say bye, Kayan. Bye. No. <clears throat> and then, by the time we can actually, nope. The main thing is the air mattress, which came with a, what do you call it? <laughs> um, pump. <laughs> so the big thing is the air mattress, which came with a plump, uh, look. What is that called? Um, oh my God. No, the, uh, what, what do you call the low light photography? <laughs> I am drawn such a blank. Long exposure, Jesus.